Hi everyone, this is my video on a replica Daniel Wellington watch. Um, this is uh, one with a NATO strap. As you can see, this is the gold version. Um, when I wore it, it felt uh, a little feminine. So, uh, sadly enough, the replica of the gold pink didn't do it for me. So let's start with um, how the watch looks. Uh, on the front, it looks good. It's, it's bigger than normal. It's a 4.07 millimeters, so it's a little bigger. Um, let me let me loosen it for you guys. So this is the the watch and. This is the strap. So, as you can see, that the logo on the watch uh, is way too small. The um, uh, initials are readable, but the smaller ones, the Daniel Wellington name of the logo, you can't read that. Position of the of the logo is um, weird enough. It's centered. And my previous uh, videos, I said that the logo should be centered at all time. And in this case, it's beautifully centered. But uh, in overall, you can easily see the indexes are flat. They're not even uh, pointing out. Um, also, what I found out was there is no um, information on the back. As you can see, there's a curve here, and the curve doesn't go outwards, but it goes inwards. So that was weird as well. I, I checked out the, the thickness of the watch, and uh, the thickness of the watch is actually uh, almost 8 millimeters. So that was disappointing. It was too thick. Um, the front, they did good, and it didn't... They looked at the details and everything, but the biggest detail in the Daniel Wellington watch is actually that it's super thin. Mm, about the strap, uh, also a weird thing about the strap, um, also on my previous uh, videos I said that you should always look at the, uh, the top of the strap and the middle of the strap to look at the uh, metal, and in this case they're not engraved. What I found out about the holes actually is that um, the fake one has 12 holes and the real one has uh, 13. But again, um, the engravings are important here and here and also the um, 13 holes instead of the 12 holes. And this watch was um, $7. It has a pinkish color instead of a gold pink. The pink color is too dominant in this in, in the in the watch itself, so that that's disappointing. And uh, the the glass is uh, cheap. This one is cheap, as the other one that I found for five dollars on AliExpress. That's the silver version um, with shorter hands. Um, that one was a thicker glass, so that was that had more quality on it but this one as you can hear it's just cheap ass glass I'm not satisfied for seven dollars definitely not you can't really expect uh, good things from a seven dollar watch but overall the um, the way they made it it's okay personally I would avoid this one and um, rather go for a silver uh, colors because those are more neutral and yeah that's not easy to screw up as a color I hope this week I will receive uh, another watch also a replica but this time it's uh, a female watch so I will also um, give you a little uh, review on that one thanks for watching guys and uh, don't forget to like